Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name is Mr. Mogulover, and we are playing as Brazil today. And we will be playing as Brazil for the next few weeks. One, two, three, a thousand weeks. You know, you never know with Integralist Brazil. Maybe I'll never give up on this game and we'll just keep playing as an organic kingdom. But, or an empire. But that is okay for now. Man, if I've been playing like three different Kaiserite games, including this one, at the same time, so I'm a little confused at what's happening right now. I remember I was trying to play as, like, El Salvador, and then Spain, I think, in one of my other games. Oh, this looks kind of messy, what the heck. Oh, those are just trees. Oh, that looks, looks like a dead forest to me. Plains, snowing, hmm. Okay, anyways. You guys shall be added here, because like I said, I have no idea where to put you, but you, Luis Carlos Prestes, you look like you got some pretty good defensive uh, capabilities. I like him. Hope you're going to stay with us. Who else do we have here? Moraes? Yeah, some of you guys are definitely people that we don't want within the military, because you have too much influence, I think. But, it's okay. We have 47% support of the people. Get a little bit more stability. We're going to officialize church support as we watch the world crumble around us. And hopefully we don't crumble. And, oh, there we go. Here we go. This was totally not expected. The American Union state declared war on the USA with the Combined Syndicates of America, or CSA, declaring war on the United States as well. And, oh, as well as the American Union state. Who shall we support? Save the Union. Support the federal government. Lose manpower and guns. Protect the common folk. Support the Union State, or we don't give a crap. Well, I don't want to do that because we're losing political power anyways. Or, you know, we're already down the hole of negative 154. I like the idea of protecting the common folk for the American Union State. Hmm. They're authoritarian Democrats. And I d obviously, I really don't like the CSA. Now it depends. Floyd Olson, you are a social liberal. I don't really like the social liberal here. I'm inclined to support the American Union state, but odds are they're not going to win the war. Hmm. Let's see. United States Focus Tree. I, I, wish, I wish. Let's see. They have to do victory in the Civil War, so they can't do American Caesar. Reconstruction is over. Do they have a focus right now that they can do? Or Air Supremacy, Air Force, U.S. Navy, the Monroe Doctrine. Hmm. Mostly because if they can get rid of Olsen... Or, if the Pacific states break away and decide to fight the USA, then also definitely support the American Union state. But I really don't like Olsen here. New Day in America. Democracy prevails. Has been avoided. Defend. Oh, they can go down this path. Ah, uh, Honestly, the American Union state usually dies. Oh, and there went New England. You know, I'm going to support the Union State. Why? I think I've pretty much explained why. Not the CSA. America, the United States, social liberals, Floyd Olson. He, he, he claims to be for the people. He's a progressive. That's what he claims to be. But, I'm sorry, man, but the American Union State under Huey Longdong here, he is truly for the people here, man. I mean, and he's, you know, he likes to promote Americana. And, you know, I like people who promote their people first. And that's what we're trying to do here in Brazil. So, I can see eye to eye with the American Union State. Maybe we'll send them volunteers. Can we do that? <laughs> God, no. <laughs> Funny. I need at least 20 divisions. I've got nine. Anyways, we have the thing. Orondo's objections. Marshal Candido Orondo has always been an explorer first and a general second, but always a staunch Republican. He has been on an expedition since before the elections, and he arrived back in civilization just recently. He was appalled by the prospect of the return of the monarchy, and is publicly condemning our government. Mm. Mm. While the man is old and not politically connected, he is very well regarded by the public, especially the military, so retaliation must be measured carefully. We must take some kind of action. If we take the harsh approach, we get less stability. We lose him as a field marshal, but we get more political power. Or we take a soft approach... He just stops being a field marshal, so we don't get a benefit or a consequence. Well, I mean, we get a consequence, but I think this, just take a soft approach. You know, he's getting old. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He's probably getting a little senile, so that's totally okay. We don't want to cause too much harm until we have more 
party popularity. Oh, syndicate syndicate militias have captured Washington. That is not good. Uh, I don't really want to support them. I'm, I'm pretty sure the American Union will die. In most of my games, they usually die. You know, I would have support the United States of America if they had Douglas MacArthur leading. Because, you know, Big Mac. Ugh, ah, Big Mac. But then there's Huey Long Dong and then Traitorous Jack Reed. But, you know, that's just an opinion. Even though know, most people's opinions are wrong, ours are not. So, uh, they have revolutionary militias. Now, it'll be interesting to see if Canada gets involved. Fight for America, what does that do for them? Fight for America. More war support, army experience, alright. What is Canada thinking about the Civil War currently? They're social conservatives, even though they do have quite a few market liberals, so, alright. Australasia Investments, Constitution Act. Uh, where do they... Ha Maybe it's just a decision to talk about, you know, you know in getting involved with the United States. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's got to be a decision here, because I, I didn't see it in the focus read, so... Alright, well, we're just going to watch... Actually, the United States of America government is doing fairly well in the center here. Even though they lost Washington, it's not too bad, actually. Combined syndicates aren't doing as well as I expected. The American Union State, it's going okay. It's not going great, obviously. And New England has joined the Entente. Alright. Uh, led by William Averell Harriman. Alright. America's Darkest Hour. Limited recognition. Yeah, no one recognized New England. I don't even think today there would be a New England separation movement at all. I mean, sure, they have a ton of population in New England, but it's relatively small compared to everything else in, the, in compared to the United States of America, the rest of it. International recognition, swaying public opinion, safeguard democracy. What, what was that? Unlocks decisions to sway public opinion on the home front. Legitimacy, huh? Reestablish Minutemen, Marines. Yeah, this doesn't seem like a very fun faction to play as. Ooh, it's Christmas tree. Do they not have a decision to get back the United States? Like, if they take over all the United States, do they not get any of that back? Well, whatever. Officiate church support. So we get more popularity, more political power, and because we're more popular, and now we're 57%, we get more daily political power because of that, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. 1937. A, good, a little bit better construction, I suppose, even though we've only six, six civilian factories. Now, our next move. I really want to get to the Empire of Brazil, which takes so long to get to. And honestly, the rest of this, I think, Unite the Army does cause us to be in a civil war. So, let's make sure that most of the people support us first before we try to get into a civil war. I think that would be for best. Let's see, lessons, of the, lessons of the Civil War? Oh, this is the past Civil War. Yeah, no, no not, not, you know, Civil War II, Electric Boogaloo. Civil War II. So, propaganda effects, ensuring military loyalty. That sounds like it would be very important. But massive rallies? Oh, I love rallies. Uh, propaganda. Hmm. I like propaganda. Let's not go with propaganda. Don't quote me on that. 9% stability. We're doing better, guys. We're doing better. More weekly stability, less construction speed. Oh, and... It looks like the CSA has... has oh, they made a fairly large encirclement. Oh, and they cut all this off from the rest of the United States, even though I do see a port over here in Norfolk. And syndicalism spreads to the Philippines. I'm unconcerned with Asian... Uh, Asian... Um, affairs or matters. It looks like there's a small encirclement down here. It'll be interesting to see if these guys could break out. Or these guys, actually, as well. Motorized, good. But industry matters as well. Better efficiency cap. Like you need to say, what, what's the manpower and soldiers like? So they have fighting for America, building a navy, which doesn't seem to be really, should be very high in the stakes right there. Let's see, that, that's a lot of divisions, wow. Uh, about 250,000 manpower probably. You have half a million, wow. So they building a navy as well. And the United States has fighting for American. Not bad, not bad. They have a lot of divisions. They have a ton of divisions, holy cow. Let's see. 38, it's still 1938, 37, it's 1937, I swear to god, I know what I'm doing here. Land Doctrine, uh, ooh, we could do some of that. Uh, I guess at this point we'll do some superior firepower, why not? I don't know if the Civil War will fire again, but we'll see what happens. Ooh, American Union State is taking up all that USA territory. It would be interesting to see if Canada gets involved, though. Rise of the... Oh. 
Mongol Empire. Mongolian Khanate. I saw this last night when I was playing, um, this as well, playing, I think, Spain. And they eventually took out Tibet. They annexed them and then took started a war with Russia, which didn't end very well for them. Oh, yeah, this is disgusting. The American U.S. divisions are just getting encircled and trapped. American Union States actually doing better than I thought so far. But, you know, time will tell realistically as to who will win. And I really hope the American Union State wins just because it, we're, we're pretty good relations. CSA can go eat a dick. And then you guys, I, you're all right, but I don't really like you. Yeah, they've expanded quite a bit, actually. Surprise, you know, why wouldn't they get more of Tennessee, more of North Carolina? I mean, I know it's mostly a state issue, like, most of this is like the solid old Confederate South, but I mean, they didn't have this part of Texas, or that part of Texas. I mean, I would like to see, like, I mean, I guess, is, I'm trying to explain that I guess each state is a province in itself, so you can't just, like, divide up, like, half North Carolina, like, or half of Tennessee or something, you know, or like, what is this, Kentucky, a little part of Kentucky joins the American Union state instead of the entire state just joining, but, oh well, I guess that's why I divided up Texas. And I did see, let's see, oh, and it looks like they're sharing a border across the river, that's not a good idea. Ooh, syndicalist revolutionaries in Switzerland. What's going on here? What's going on? Switzerland, market liberals. Ooh, propaganda efforts, nice. Memories of Geneva, da da da, it's a black market. Swiss neutrality. Propaganda efforts. All oh, right, all oh, right. I I think um you know a loyal military is nice and all, but let's go with massive rallies first, just to increase our popu popu. I can't talk today. Party popularity, so we get more political power. Because army XP is nice and all, but I don't really need that too much. Now was this Romandy? I guess is probably not going to go to France. Up oh, and there we go. We have another civil war here. Civil war in Spain. Spanish Civil War. Do I get an event to support them? Ooh. I did play as a Kingdom of Spain because I think they are the most interesting out of the, all these factions here. Just because Spain, once the Civil War is over and they win, they have the most options as to who to choose a side. So they can go with Reichspack, Entente, or actually go to war with France, it's, or the Commune of France itself, which is really cool. Or they can stand alone, of course. At the border. Uh, let's make sure we get those fighters fixed up. I need some more equipment. Ooh. I do that. I, I definitely will need some artillery. Let's see. Research. 1937. We're doing land doctrine finally. I decided to do that just because it's only level 1 or 2, so that's not too bad. That's not too far into the tree. <clears throat> Naval stuff. I'm pretty much ignoring that for now. I'm really focusing on South America. Not too much elsewhere. Radar. I love, love, love radar. Uh, oh, actually, this stuff unlocked too. Field hospitals might be important. Let's get some recon companies. Even though I don't have any support equipment, really. Greece is joined the Belgrade Pact. Alright, foundation of the Belgrade Pact. Who's in the Belgrade Pact? So it looks like Romania, Serbia, and Greece is in the Belgrade Pact. Alright, well, whatever. It's fine with me. I don't really care. Yeah, like I was saying, Kingdom of Spain has the most options to go in different directions. The CNT, FAI, they're okay, but they're mostly just luck wing and they're kind of to a degree railroaded into helping out the Third International, which is fine and all, but it just feels like I wish I could do more with a faction like join the Third International or create my own Third International. Call it the Fifth International, because no one likes the Fourth International, but the Fifth International, that's new, that's different. And leftist parliament members impeached. The incredibly short-sighted crypto-syndicalists who roam the parliament have been politely requested to leave. They naturally didn't take too kindly to that, of course, but it's a necessary measure to prevent Brazil from becoming a French colony. Good riddance. So we lose stability, and all party support for left-leaning ideologies will be removed, and plus 50 political power. Oh, we have... Oh my god, we got positive political power now? That does not sound like a good thing to happen. Holy cow, we have 74% party popularity? Yeah, that did not sound like a good thing to happen. But maybe it was. I like 74% party popularity. It's only going to go up from here. So now we get points four seven political power a day, and let's keep talking about Spain. Carlos Spain. Yeah, usually Austria likes to support them. Let's see, ooh, yeah, and obviously, oh, well, now I gotta talk about this. Syndicalists flee the country. It seems that our plans regarding syndicalists were leaked to the common public, and hundreds of of syndicalists. Norway, are you feeling okay? 
uh, intellectuals and students have fled the country via various methods in the past month. Our forces are spread thin, maintaining order, and thus they are able to escape unharmed, but they should know Brazil now belongs to God, not Marx. And you know what? They won't be missed. Uh, I did want to talk about Carlos Spain just because it feels like they they got some pretty cool uh, focuses, to be honest. Some pretty cool focuses, but there's really not much you can do as well. Yeah. Viva El Rey. National Cap. Catholicism sounds pretty cool. Spanish Miracle sounds pretty cool. But they, they're pretty much railroaded to join the Entente. And that's okay, you know, if you want to join the Entente. But I would like to have my own faction, please. I like my own faction. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, basically, if Carlos Spain joins the Entente, CNTFAI joins Third International, Peru declared war on Ecuador, which, actually, I want to keep an eye on, just because I'm probably going to fight them later on anyways. But that's why I like playing Kingdom of Spain the most, who made a pretty good encirclement, I suppose. Let's see, is anything else going on in Europe? I don't think so. Oh, oh American Union State, you're looking pretty big. It looks like this might actually be a good war for the American Union State. Maybe we got lucky. Maybe we got lucky. Are my rallies done yet? No, we're, we're very far away from our rallies being finished. But this is interesting. No one's, it doesn't look like anyone's really fighting these battles. And Serbia declared war on Bulgaria. Well, Fourth Balkan War. Good luck, Bulgaria. Uh, I would probably station as many divisions as possible on the Romanian front because there's a river. <gasps> we can modify our government. We can finally modify our government. Watch out. We can add someone here. So, obviously, we are national populists, and by far and large, we are the most popular party out of everyone else in this freaking awesome nation. Uh, let's see, social conservative. That's all right. Social conservative, authoritarian dem, not bad. A paternal autocrat. Oh, where is that boy? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Gofredo Teles. More political power, which I really need right now. Uh, let's get him. Just a little more political power a day will help. Eventually, I will switch him out for someone else. But 0.55 is better than 0.47 every day. And it looks like Saudi Arabia is. Gearing up for something interesting here, huh? What are you doing? In Solinda... In Solindia, declared war on the Dutch East Indies. Well, they're allied together. Are they in a faction yet? Oh, yep, they are in the Cairo Pact, and something tells me the Ottomans don't really like that. I think Romania is penetrating Bulgaria in a very awkward way. Well, Serbia is a little bit, and Greece is doing okay. Bulgaria? Nice knowing you. Now it's really the war between the CSA and American Union State. Now this is a pretty good three-way war. Surprised to see that the Pacific States didn't pop up. NASA rallies, awesome, and Hawaii broke free. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's ensure military loyalty. That'll be good. And then Empire Brazil. And following that, then I will go for uh, bridging the Brazilian archipelago, logistics battalion, and then unite the army. I really want to make sure that we are a very stable country before we try to unite everyone under our banner. Because right now we're at 84% uh, party popularity, and that's that's pretty darn good. Maybe a little skeptical to see a country so unified, especially in 1937 or 2018. But, you know, we're going to take whatever is given to us. Americans are still holding out here. Holy cow. They're kind of like... At the moment, I kind of feel like Drew Drenil because our country isn't doing that much. I'm mostly just observing what everyone else is doing. I want you to be in Rio, though. Just in case. And, let's see, you... Oh, you're in Rio. Yeah, if you die, this is militia division. That's okay. Sao Salvador. Uh, let's put them around bigger cities. Uh, you, you seem like a big city. Fortaleza. Fortaleza. Good. We have five artillery pieces. Great. We need a lot more guns, though. Ooh. I'm glad I'm, we're getting more military or army XP. Russia announces their ambitions. They are the Russian state. Oh boy. Oh, and they're at peace now. What the hell? Anyways, cock construction. Well, we like them though. Savinkov, Boris. That way, maybe we can be friends. Oh, they've actually sent uh, volunteers to the USA instead of the American Union state. Well then, Tripolitana. Uh, join Cairo Pact. All right, interesting. Burma's joined Eastern Syndicalist Union. Man, whenever I play Vicky 2, they always get eaten up by the UK. That's interesting. That's pretty interesting. Reichspact. 
Uh, Japan is not... What is Japan up to? The Rising Sun. Ah, uh, their national populace. Ah, uh, we kind of like them. Hmm. Well, at least... Russia. Ooh, Bulgaria. Ooh, ooh Bulgaria. Oh, my God. The Serbs are happy now. But at least we have Russia, who could be a potential ally, as well as Japan. That's very nice to see. This, though, this is really interesting. This looks like a really awesome war going on right now. Just because it looks pretty evenly divided, to be honest. Better machine tools. Awesome. Artillery. We don't even produce that much. Uh, radar. I love radar. Tactical bombers. I can't afford you. Infantry. Uh, I can't really afford tanks either. I suppose we can focus on ships. I'm not really sure what the naval meta is for Kaiserreich. I but I've heard that you want to go with dreadnoughts because they're they just pack a bigger punch. I've heard subs aren't bad either. I'm just gonna focus on what I know. So big dreadnoughts and destroyers. Ah, oh, 90 days, not bad. Spirit firepower is almost done. Oh, and looks like Romania took a little bit more of uh, Bulgaria. Superior firepower, good. Oh, do we make another factory? Oh, we have seven. Nice. Awesome. I can't believe we actually have positive political power. Yeah, Bulgaria, I'm sorry to what has happened to you, because this looks kind of disgusting, but it's not bad. Not bad. Oh, the CNT FAI is really winning here. Holy cow. Well, that's not good. That is really not good for us. Or at least for <laughs> Kingdom of Spain. All right, let's take a look. Take a look. Zero manpower. Good job. Combined Syndicates of America, too much manpower. USA, Native Code Talkers, quite a bit of manpower. The American Union States are probably going to die, because they're completely out of manpower. And now it's time to focus, for us, on the Empire of Brazil. His Imperial Majesty, Pedro III, lies ready to, con to conceive his crown. No, 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 no. He's ready to receive his crown, as Brazil once again becomes what is always meant to be a monarchy. Only final preparations need to be taken such as organizing the coronation itself and restoring the palaces His Majesty will live in, and we can begin. The Empire has come back to life with its full power and might intact. We will be known as an Empire, and we will get the event of the Imperial Coronation, which will take over four months. So, Japan announces her ambitions. Awesome. Yeah, it looks like the CSA is really trying to drive south. Come on, come on, Huey Long Dong. I gave you supplies. I gave you men. National so, the basis of restoration as we endeavor towards restoring the monarchy as an institution and the empire as a whole. A first principle must be recognized. The restoration has legal basis. The will of the people brought the AIB to, into power, and the army had no mandate from the masses to depose his imperial majesty in 1889. We are simply righting a wrong that should have never, ever happened. However, such a matter is easier to, said than done. Republican lies were spread far wide. Our loyalists hunted down and our legacy tarnished. The quest to bring Brazil back to its glory begins now. Proceed no matter the cost. Now, that sounds kind of scary, but that's okay. Seriously, man. Come on. I gave you supplies. Please get some boys in there. Or at least let the CSA and USA just nail their men against you. Shock and awe. Are they going for more political power? Or not political power. Manpower. Where, where is their focus? I really want them to win, but... I doubt they will. New Monroe Doctrine. Uh, let's see. I'm not really sure. Oh, they're shock and awe. Support artillery. That's probably not the best thing that you want to do. Women's Land Army might be okay. I don't know. Whatever. Oil. Eh, screw it. We'll get some radar. Yeah. Yeah, the CSA, I think, is pushing fairly hard now. That's okay. Let's see. Brasil, 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 Brasil. How's our uh, construction going on? So we can make him one pretty much only. What is this? Oh, motorized. Oh, yeah, we definitely need motorized in there. Two, five, uh, just make one at a time. Just because I don't want to produce outdated stuff. And we don't have that many resources. And we really need more guns. And that is my reasoning. Alright, what else is going on? CNT, FAI might win. I'm just going to call the CNT from here on out. I wish Bulgaria would be released, but that's okay. Yeah, I want to see what the, the Ottomans are doing. They are doing something. Ooh. Alright, looks like they got some good national spirits and some really bad national spirits. Plan, mobilization. 
automatically, automatic line, of course. Austrian Empire, they had decided to go under Social Democrat. You know, I used, you know, I love Carl, but I really like, prefer his older, his other portrait just because he looks okay. I mean, wait, do you see that? Do you see that? Look at that. Ask for a chin. Does every great leader have an ass for a chin in this game? Jeez. Let's see. Success. Worker's Spear. That's pretty good. Uh, be in a circle. And they went with status quo. God dang it. I hate it when Austria goes down status quo. That's always so boring. I mean, I played as Austria, and I went with status quo, so I know how boring it is. Ooh, Gibraltar is fault. That's not good. Hmm. Oh, wait. What's up here? Oh, Denmark and Norway at war, so Norway invaded Iceland. Right. Norway, you are a bunch of paternal autocrats. Okay, I thought I thought they were uh, syndicalists, but no, because I saw all this radical socialist and stuff. And there goes the Cairo Pact against the Ottoman Empire. All right, so they are paternal autocrats. Usher's army plan, divided air force, and Denmark is social democrat. All right, Christian the tenth. Interesting. That's quite interesting. The Ottomans might get beaten up. Rebellion in Yemen. 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 They're fighting the Ottomans. Return of the forty officers. Well, we'll see what the Ottomans can push up against Iran, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, and Yemen. That'd be interesting. Oh, oh, do we have something here? Send in the army. Oh, my streak to join the Cairo Pact. And decided to fight the Ottomans. Oh, that is not good. But, what happens if we send in the army? We lose daily political power. We get more weekly stability, which actually would be good. Better recover... Worse recovery rate in political population. Honestly? Uh, oh, I can change this too. Oh, good. I could go to... Is stability worth it or more consumer goods and factor of speed? I'm thinking I want faster speed at constructing civilian factories so we can actually produce some shit. But I like put stability. Because if we get more stability, we get factor construction speed better. I'll put... Right now we have eight of these. We could probably get a few more... Yeah, let's do this, because we get better speed and we get to use a few more... Uh, I hope a few more civilian factories to use. I think we got one. So, but that's just, that's definitely the step in the right direction. Now we'll have a new civilian factory done by March 1938. How great! How absolutely delightful! Oh, and they are manpower again. Limited conscription. Limited conscription. Yeah. Oh man, their manpower is really going down quite fast. Oh, look at that jump! The restoration or referendum. Finally, Brazil will be, will be able to reset its path towards the future. And a better one at that. The referendum towards the abolition of the Republic, boycotted by several traitorous parties, has ended in a landslide victory for the Empire. Long live His Imperial Majesty. Preparations for the coronation will start at once. The people have spoken. Oh, we got 5% more stability. Oh, don't you love that? Don't you absolutely love that? Oh, wait, that's stability. Yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Wait, war, war destroyer. Uh, 33, that's cruisers. How about dreadnoughts? Oh my gosh, we got so much to research there. Uh, actually, would the air dock should be better or naval? Well, let's get artillery, since I am using artillery. I will go get the dreadnoughts soon. Anyways, ooh, Empire of Japan, a good war on Qing China. That'll be interesting to see what happens. The recon companies, let's go, just go ahead and, I'm thinking. I can't think so. Whatever. Ching Chan. Oh, they actually are. They're at war with Tibet? Argentina declared war on Patagonian Front's Workers Front. Now, this is interesting. Because that means Argentina is at war with Chile and the Patagonian Front. If Argentina loses, they'll become syndicalist. And that'll be a major force to fight against for me. Oh, Paraguay decided to declare war on them as well. Can I intervene? Paraguay. Oh, maybe... Hmm, Argentina, I... Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. I think I'm... Uh, ooh, I'm not really sure what to do. I'm thinking right now, if I invade Paraguay, defeat them quickly while they're trying to fight Argentina, I can at least get Paraguay as kind of a buffer state between me and the future, potentially, syndicalist Argentina. Because once... Argentina goes syndicalist as well as being a puppet of Chile. That'll be kind of hard to defeat. To defeat. So I'm thinking that's probably my best bet at the moment. 
I do have 11 divisions. Not bad. Uh, let's see. Oh, did, oh, what, wait, what? Bolivia declared war on Paraguay? Um, Bolivia, you are paternal autocrats. We don't really like you that much. But we really don't like you. Argentina. No one here is allied to Argentina. They're just fighting three on three different fronts, which is not good. Paraguay is losing. Hmm. No longer gets the effects of soft approach. We lose a little bit of stability. How many divisions do you have? You have three to five. That's actually not bad. Paraguay has five to nine. If we justify on them, I still need more political power. What if we justify it on Bolivia? Yeah, actually, that might be that might work. If if they pair, if they puppet Paraguay, then I could attack Bolivia and Paraguay at the same time. I have eleven divisions, not the greatest, but that's about probably about the same amount as they have. That could really help us out. Huh. Decisions, decisions will have to be made. So anyways, we're going to end the episode here. We saw the rise of the Second American Civil War, the rise of the Spanish Civil War, and more wars that have already been conducted with Norway, Denmark, uh, Japan, Qing, China, Mongolia, and China. It looks terrifying. And Argentina getting attacked from three different sides. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. Please leave a like if you did. Uh, please tell me whether I should invade Paraguay or Bolivia or something like that. And I will see you tomorrow. Hope you leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will, like I said, see you with decisions made. Thank you very much for watching.